Hello. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the snub icosadodecahedron. This is one of the 13 Archimedean solids. In this series, I'm showing how the Archimedean solids can be derived from the five platonic solids. In this schematic, we have the five platonic solids across the top. In this video, I'm looking at snubification. In particular, if we snubify the dodecahedron or snubify the icosahedron, we get this shape right here, the snub icosadodecahedron. Here is another rendering of the snub icosadodecahedron. You'll see that it is made up of equilateral triangles and equilateral pentagons. It does turn out that the snub icosadodecahedron does have a left-hand version and a right-hand version, and I'll let you investigate the difference on your own. To explain what it means to snubify, I'm going to use the website Truncate Expand Snubify. And first of all, I'm going to go down to the expansion section, and I'm going to expand the dodecahedron. Here's the original dodecahedron, and if I expand that, you'll notice that the edges get pulled apart and the edges get replaced by a rectangle. Snubification is similar because we're going to be pulling the edges apart, but this time, when we pull the edges apart, well, let me go ahead and get up to the dodecahedron. Here we are at the dodecahedron. When I pull the edges apart, you'll notice that what happens is we add in a diagonal here. So we're going to be forming two triangles. There's also a little bit of a twisting that occurs. So this is the snub icosadodecahedron. We get three face types. The original faces, which are pentagons, and they remain as pentagons. The triangles that are formed between the edges that get pulled apart, those are equilateral triangles. And finally, at each vertex, when it pulls apart, we get some triangles. Let's go ahead and snubify the icosahedron and see if we get the same shape. We should. Yes, we do. Now let's analyze the snub icosadodecahedron. On the left, we see the dodecahedron with its information. On the right, we're going to be filling in these blanks. It's useful to think about the faces here on the right-hand side of three types. The first type would be the faces that are a result of the original faces of the dodecahedron, the pentagons. The second type is the type which is found by pulling apart edges. When an edge gets pulled apart, two triangles are formed. And finally, type 3 are the faces that are formed from the vertices. When a vertex pulls apart, it becomes a triangle. Notice that type 2 and type 3 vertices are both triangles. If you would like to analyze the snub dodecahedron, pause the video now. If you would rather analyze the snub icosahedron, pause the video now. You'll notice that the total number of faces, edges, and vertices will be the same, but now the type 3 faces on this right-hand side are going to be the pentagons, which were the result of the vertex being pulled apart. I hope you enjoy studying the properties of the Archimedean solids.